Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at wives having meltdowns after getting caught cheating. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. I'm her soulmate. Where's she at? She's a f***ing whore. You could give your whole life to a woman and she'll still find a way to break your heart. Out of here. It's time for you to go. I ain't going nowhere. to the rules. Call the people. Steve, call the boys. You know what it's like. It is what it is. <laughs> nah, I'm good, mama. Nice I'm good, mama. Don't touch me, mama. Me I'm you. good, mama. Don't nice touch me. me. Step out. <gasps> oh, Step out. Step out of here. Hey, chat. We do it live. She threw a drink on the homie. It is what it is. I got another shirt. Two minutes earlier. In your current relationship, is it open on your end? Like your man allows you to sleep with other women? Yeah. What about other men? Yeah, we have open relationships, so he can deal with whoever he wants to deal with. Is I he promise. bisexual or he's straight? No, he's not bisexual. Oh. <laughs> Baby, I like a real man. I would say that a real man wouldn't get into a serious relationship with the woman that is open on her end and other men are smashing her. That girl's gonna be for the streets. Men don't react to female outbursts anymore because they know crocodiles aren't worth more than actual evidence. My money's on all three, because they all seem happy about the fact that their friend is back to being single like them. You were f Well, yeah, of course. And he was married. Yes. That's homewrecker behavior. Technically. That is true. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. But they're still together. Wait so a minute, and you fun. signed a lease expecting him to live with you? Yeah, they're still together. Does she know? Oh, yeah. Are they open? No. Huh? Future wife, please don't cheat on me. So, she found out about me. Oh, she found out. Okay. Yes. I'm all for empathy, but I gotta admit, there's nothing more satisfying than watching a cheater get what's coming for them. Have fun living in that empty house you can't pay rent on. Are you single or in a relationship? Um, uh, <laughs> not gonna answer that one. You wanna get in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah are you single or in a relationship? Relationship. Wait, huh? Did you say that? Huh? No, we're not. Y'all aren't together? Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, anyways, let's keep him out. Bye-bye. Yo, this guy's gonna make you Snapchat famous. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna be the victim, boy. Uh-uh-uh. You're gonna be the victim? Yeah, you know how it is. Like, you always see these, like, sad ass. You always feel bad for him. Chicks, they say for, like, six months we're in a relationship, and then they say on camera they're not. I, I always feel bad for those guys. It looks like I was one. That's gonna get you some views. That's some real <laughs> you fucking boss. Thank you. All right, all right. Hey, hey, hold on. I needed you more than you ever knew. Hey, don't leave yet, bro. That was crazy. So it made more sense to put her cell phone blast on the internet as a cheater than to just say she had a man? Modern dating. Gosh. Wait. What's that smell? Is that the... Is that the smell of a, a bit? Forget the sisterhood betraying you. Women can't even trust their own sisters these days. <laughs> bro, because you pregnant by who? Why would I be telling you, you I'm pregnant? pregnant by who, bro? By you. What you mean? <laughs> hey, I got a whole f vasectomy, bro. Quit playing with me. You ain't got no f vasectomy. Bro, quit, bro, real shit. I have my last daughter. I had a vasectomy, bro. She's six. Quit playing with me, bro. You're a liar. You're a liar. Move, bro. Touch me. That's the Mexican violence, bro. Don't touch, me. Don't touch me. You'll go to jail. Don't touch me. Get out Don't fucking touch me. Get, Get out. out but I gotta take you to the doctor, right? Police I gotta take you to the I'm not a police. I gotta take you to the doctor, right? I gotta take you to the doctor, right? You mad? I have a vasectomy. Who you pregnant by? Oh, yeah. I'll take I'll take care of the baby. I promise you. I promise you, I'll take care of the baby. No, uh, come here, babe. Hey, babe, come here. I'll take care of it. Real shit, tell me who it is. I'll take care of it. Come here. Really? I, I swear to God, I'll take care really? of you. Really? You'll piss me off, but I'm trying to take care of your baby, bitch. Trick it, nigga. Hey, that's not my kid. It is that's not kid. my kid. Get Liar. Get out. I'm a liar. I will, bro. You're a pain in my home. Nothing, nigga. I'll quit playing. Liar. Whatever. Liar. Play on me. Watch as she switches up and says that's their miracle baby. Yeah, the miracle is that he can even have another baby. You cannot be for real. Oh my god, you for real. 
No, you for fake. No, you for real. Stay safe, America. Ronald from G Channel 2 News, reporting live from the streets. After she plans a fake gender reveal, he ought to plan a DNA reveal. What is the craziest lie that you've ever told? One time I was talking to this man, and my like sugar daddy at the time invited me on a trip to Bali, and so I needed an excuse to like tell him where I'd be because he was super suspicious of me. So I told him I was going on a mission trip. <laughs> I made this whole lie up about how I was going on a mission trip to Bali, and like with time, your church. Yeah, and the whole time I was just getting <laughs> by my sugar daddy. But did you guys actually go to Bali? Yeah. Okay. It was like all-inclusive resort, you know, laid up on the beach type vibes, but he thought, you know, I was out there preaching. Did he not ask for any proof, any pictures? Like, he didn't want to I see he, what you were doing on maybe, the Maybe, I don't know, maybe he wanted to believe me, or maybe he thought that, like, that was so crazy that I wouldn't lie about it, mm -hmm. but it got me what I wanted, so... Telling a story about your dishonesty and disloyalty with a smile is a whole new type of low. We're going to be trying to break up as much couples as possible. We're going to ask them to swap phones. We're going to try anything, our hardest, we, just to break them up. I'm tired of seeing all these couple of people. If I'm single, you got to be single too. Bro, this is the third girl I've seen you with. Dude, like, how did, does she know that? What is it? Does she what know is that? Y'all might have to swap phones. Y'all might have to swap phones right now. You don't, you don't check my phone? Is this the spot you bring them to? The third time with a different girl. Like, Dude, where's your phone? How's her phone out and your phone isn't? No. Y'all might have to swap real quick. Go to messages? Wait, guys, there's a, there's a new thing called recently deleted. Y'all might have to go to messages real quick. Go to recently deleted. Ooh, that's her? That's her? Okay, okay. What about her? What about her? Ooh, who's that number? Yo, we caught her. Whoa! Yo. She's going to delete it. Yo, did she just delete that? No way, she just deleted that. It started off as a prank and ended up being bro's rescue. Something that you've never told your partner. That I f***ed his brother. Dude, <laughs> what? She has a brother, there's no way. I so have. Dude, he's so like 45. Yeah, exactly. I no, totally f***ed his brother. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not okay, kidding. who's better? The brother. Oh my god, you guys. L L It's an evil world we live in. I just think there's a time and place for everything, except for cheating on a man with his own brother. Bro, why the fuck would you guys do this to me? Bro, you can't have s it's AZ. I swear to god, man, you can't have s it's AZ. Ooh, I want you to she had a dream last night that he cheated on her, woke up, and thought the logical thing was to keep him from driving to other women. Mel time. It's, it's, it's Mel time. Oh, she got the four. Okay. So we're just doing salsa? We're just going? Yep. Okay. Yeah? Can you really be surprised, though, who actually wants to be in an open relationship if they care about the other person? <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Did they just kiss? They just kissed, bro. Did they? You better hope you find out. Let's keep this private. Wow. You don't need to know this. No, no. I, I like you. I like this. But I, I still got a situation I got to deal with before I can Man. say you're my boyfriend. Uh, don't but I'm definitely feeling you, though. Give me this one more time. Will you give me a fair chance? Um, yeah. If you can see it happening, then prove it. Prove it? Yeah. Does that prove it? Yeah. Oh, damn. That was definitely a kiss I heard at that time. <laughs> But guess what, though? You know what else? What? What's up? Man, you just got caught. Caught what? Caught what? Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we are going. We are going. Careful crossing that street, guys. Look out for cars. Over.
You just felt like. Wait, uh, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> what the f? Tina? What? What the f? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You don't even know you like that, and you're kissing him. I'm your boyfriend. They're my friends. They're with me. Don't worry about it. You're a fuck. You ever kiss other people? Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? I can't fuck this kiss. I can't fuck this bro. Get all your shit. All your. She's cussing him out now, only to be begging him to take her back when he throws her things out on the curb. How are you the victim? I'm the victim because I got bullied on about the situation. She posted me everywhere on Facebook. You, you, yeah, because you did something horrible. I knew this was gonna happen. Come on the show, so sh this could be all about the fake pregnancy, and this is not what I came what on the show for. What is it about? For. It's about her saying I and I didn't even do nothing to him. Okay, but you understand, and she brought up a good point that I didn't even think about it. She loses her son. You give her false hope that he's living on through a baby. So she experiences two deaths. She not only loses her son, and then she, this child that you gave her all this great hope is not real. I can't believe she tried to get the crowd to cheer for her after the fake pregnancy. Yeah, those boos should have been louder. My cousin, right, he's married to this girl or whatever, right? So he was married to him. So I decided, I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to see what the f with her. So I ended up hitting her up one day. She bit back, whatever. I'm like, I bet. I'm getting off of work. It's like 12 o'clock. So she's like, pull up. She dropped her low. I come to her crib. I'm hitting short like five times that night. We didn't stop fucking like six o'clock the next morning. I leave her crib. She called me back over the next day. So for about like three months straight, I'm fucking bitch. Come to find out, she's still going through her divorce with my cousin. Oh, so you give him the alimony for my cousin because he's in the army and somebody sent her a video of him going in the room with another chick a week after they wedded. I'm like, all right, bet that up. So I got something for you. So I sent my cousin a video of me hitting her from the back. When they went to court, my cousin turned the video in. <laughs> all the charges dropped. Oh, no. They get back a motherfucker. Yeah. Apparently her type is men with the same last names. So you were just telling me that you have a wife for two years? Yeah. You have two kids? Yeah. And where are you from? Long Island. All right, so while you're in Nashville visiting from Long Island, your girlfriend's back home, right? Yeah. Do you ever think while you're gone on this beautiful trip to Nashville, she'd be cheating on you? I mean, not really. I'm gonna be honest. What if I were to say I have an AI that searches any dating website with just a face photo? Would you want to use it? I mean, might as well, right? All right, all right, let's see it, let's see it. All right, so we're using the Cheater Buster AI. What's her name? Her name is Olivia. All right, what's her age? 23. Okay, okay. And then where is she from? Long Island. Long Island. Can you pull out your phone and uh, show me a picture so I can take it, see if it recognizes her? All right. While the AI is loading her facial recognition, do you ever think she would ever be on any dating website? No, I trust her. Y'all have two kids together, you said? Yeah. All right. The AI just came back for this all. Are you ready to see? Let's see it. It came back with the match. Is this her? Yeah, that's her. And it says she has Tinder premium. Damn, what the f That's your kid on the photo. Yeah, that's Jason. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I Bro, are you okay? Man's raising two kids with a woman who's telling men on Tinder it's hard being a single mom. If woman is past 25 and she's not married to the man of her dreams, she failed at life. Uh, damn, I'm 26. That's what you feel like? You probably, yeah, you failed. No, nah, not really. I'm living. Well, that's, what does living entail? Oh, I'm a flight attendant. I travel the world. Okay, I being a like, guys, we gotta, we gotta have real conversations here. How do you get from being a flight attendant, living my life and traveling, Okay. equivalent to be equivalent. a hoe. Okay. I think you mean equate is what you're trying to okay, say. Same equate. Thing. Equate. Way, Equival okay. and equate are not the same. Okay. Equival but, is okay, crazy. Carry on. Anyway, so here's the reality. Because women are never direct with what they mean. When they say, I'm living life, or I'm outside, or I'm having fun, all this other <laughs> Translation, being a whole promiscuous, having fun with multiple men. That's what it really boils down to. You guys don't want to admit this, but that's what it comes down to. And what no, you don't realize is, no, it's not. being a whole decreases your ability to find a man in the future. That's true. So be outside as much that as you want. True. But you're not going to be inside when I build a home. I don't admit that though. Like My man didn't stutter, and legend has it she's still coming up with a comeback. My girlfriend is accusing me of being gay because I didn't cheat on her. Wow, sounds toxic. We've been together for about two years now. She's always been the jealous type, but it's never bothered me because I'm not a very social person, so I never felt she would have reasons to be jealous. So according to my girlfriend, women often hit on me. I really don't believe that is the case because I'm an average looking dude and don't put myself out there like that. But she insists this is the case. She has made multiple attempts to catfish me. 
What? This is too much. Yeah. This is crazy. She tried Facebook, but I won't accept a friend request or message from someone I don't know. She tried Instagram and it was the same. So then she tried Reddit where I'm likely to respond to a message from a stranger. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> right. She sent me a message like, quote, I saw your post and you're so funny. Do you want to hook up? I live in your city and attach a picture of an attractive woman. I knew it was BS and just replied, you're not fooling anyone. The rest of the day, she gave me the cold shoulder and had an attitude. When called her out, she said, if you were a real man, you wouldn't have even responded to the message. I handed her my phone and passcode and told her she can search everything. She did. She gave it back to me about an hour later. At this point, I asked, did you find what you were looking for? while laughing. Now, she is accusing me of being gay. She didn't find any messages between me and other women. My search history is mostly about the shows I watch and recipes I want to cook and some medical questions about my pets. She said, if I'm not seeking out other women, I must be gay. What the hell am I supposed to do? I did nothing wrong and somehow I'm still the bad guy. She told me to leave my house the day before Christmas because she doesn't want to see me. Also called her family and said, I'm gay and now her brother wants to fight me. Wait, what? Why? After cheating, lying, and scheming women, men are now supposed to look out for phishing scams from their own girlfriends, too. All right, so what's your name? Alejandra. Do you have a boyfriend by chance? Uh, yeah. How long have you been dating for? About two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Well, look, if you tell me the crazy secret, secret your boyfriend has never found out. And if I find it crazy, I'll give you $400 in cash right now. If I find it crazy. Mm, will he see this? I mean, I'm just starting off on TikTok, so, like, I don't know, like, how the For You page works, but, you know, he's possible. Okay. I'll do it, I guess. Alright, so what's the secret? You get one chance. Uh, but I don't want to make myself look bad or anything. Uh, okay. Three, two. Okay, I may or may not have cheated on him a few times. <laughs> what? I mean, like, when was the last time you cheated on him? Well, last year's so like a few months ago, two months ago. Wow. You know, new year, new me, so. So now, what happens if he sees this video? Um, we probably won't be together. Well, I mean, lucky for you, I don't got that many followers. I'm just getting started. What would happen if he cheated on you? Obviously, I'd end things with him. How mad would you be if he cheated on you? Obviously, I'd cut his thing off. But you cheated on him. There's a difference. An easy life hack for not making yourself look bad is by not doing bad things. Uh, I have a fiance and I have a son. That's when she chooses to do this. Isn't that, that kind of odd time in here, yeah. Your Honor? I mean, the timing does seem a little interesting. Yeah. I just came to the realization that, hey, I can do it alone, but I don't have to do it alone. If mm -hmm. he's taking care of his other son and his fiance, that's fine. I don't need him to take care of me or my daughter, but it would be the right thing to do. And, and that's what he's going to do. If he's honor. the father. He's the father. Okay. <laughs> and you're sure of that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I mean, Bailey, we had those results. <laughs> Got your cashier's check. Because I don't want a person. That's not check. nice. Well, I'm just saying. You, you can't say that to him yet, though. Okay. We All don't right. know if he's even going to be the father to pay child support. Her whole case was based on why should he get to live a good life while I'm miserable? I'm no expert, but I'd say it's because of that attitude of hers. Fast and Furious Cheating Ex Edition. Oh, you cheat on me. Oh. Go tell your boyfriend what I've been doing. Been thinking of him every time we screw him. No, I don't want you until you put the work in. I'm not your boyfriend. I'm not your fucking boyfriend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here I thought having your heart broken brought out the blues. I guess when you're onto her, it brings out dance pop. They even told me to name the baby's middle name Major, and it would stand for Major Mistake. That's not nice. It is not nice. I did not like that either. But even my family wants to know this. And you're saying that you didn't sleep with his friend? I did not sleep with his friend. When it comes to one-month-old Joshua Piper Jr., it has been determined by this court, Mr. Joshua Piper, that you are not the father. Oh, man. Oh, my. Probability of paternity. Zero percent. And you say twins. You say clone, didn't you? Wow. Huh. That can't be right. 
How about that, huh? That cannot be right. How about that? Well, on that note, I figure I'm done here. My mouth is open. Joshua Jr. is a beautiful little baby. Apparently, he's not even Joshua Jr. No, that's his name. It is his name. But Joshua Sr. is not his father. Mm. Thank you. You're right. Only you know if it's right. I don't know what happened. You gonna tell me something? I promise I would not try to put a baby on someone if I wasn't completely sure. And I'm you, sorry. Miss Clark, you obviously was with someone else. It didn't have to be his friend or the guy or whatever. You were with someone else. And ma'am, only you know that. So why would you put yourself and the baby and Mr. Piper in that position? I didn't do it I'm on purpose. My whole I'm a, life over I pride crazy. myself on being honest. Guess that's Joshua Major Mistake Jr. after all. <laughs> that pain in his eyes is all for the 50 bucks he lost. Glad he didn't raise it to 100. Wow, that's f***ed up, bro. That's Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here in Brickle with... Serge Steves, what's up? Nice to meet you, bro. Yo, so I heard that your buddy over there told me that you were in a relationship for over, like, five years? Yeah, five years. It's going well. Like, I love the girl. She loves me. Like, it's just going well, you know so what I'm saying? serious. It's real serious. I think she's the one. I think oh, she's yeah, the one. Bro. So you trust her? I trust her, yeah. She trusts you? I think so, yeah. And she's loyal? She's got to be, bro. I think so. Oh, yeah. Well, I love to hear that, bro. So I have this thing called Cheater Buster AI, right? So what if I were to tell you I have this AI that searches any dating app with just a face photo? Would you want to see it? Let's do it. I'm down. Let's do it, bro. All right. So first of all, what's her name? Andrea. And how old is she? 20. 20. And where's she from? When's the last time you think she used a dating app? Probably, I mean, I'd say like five years ago when like she wasn't with me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And do you have a face photo so that AI can recognize her? Yeah. So you have a face photo, right? I'm gonna scan that real quick so the AI can search the database with facial recognition as well to see if she might be under a different name as well. Now that the AI is loading, do you ever think she'll be in the dating app? No, I don't think so. 100%. Positive. Alright. Alright, it's loading. All right, bro. The results just came back with the match, bro. Look, is this her? Damn, bro. That's her. Bro, bro, bro she verified, bro. She, <laughs> she verified with her driver's license. Her bio says nothing serious, bro. Wow, that's f***ed up, bro. That's five years, bro. I, I thought you were going to ready to seal the deal. Damn, bro. That's, that's wild, man. That's... What are you going to do? I'm a dating coach. So I'm just going to go out there and fuck. My man's been telling everyone else how to spot red flags, but was blinded himself. I'm not signing them papers, man. That's not my daughter. Don't throw this I'm not paying child Don't support. We get divorced, me. right? Excuse me. not my daughter biologically. You signed these adoption papers, giving these child the same biological rights as a child who is your own. Bro, I didn't sign the birth certificate. What adoption paper? Where did I, where I signed them at? I got the papers. Okay, you got the papers. It's you ain't got no papers. Somewhere. Did he sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't sign the birth certificate. I didn't sign the birth certificate. That's what I'm saying. That's not my daughter biologically. Her daddy, her daddy in jail. But she was there since she was born. Okay, what that mean? You adopted her, though. I got the adoption papers somewhere. Okay, but what that mean? Somewhere. I'm not paying child support. We were married for seven years. Just pull out the birth certificate. Okay, it don't, it don't really matter if we were married or not. It don't really matter. That's not my daughter. Like, I'm not about to pay child support. You you move on, meet somebody else. Then he's taking care of you and your daughter. You're getting double benefits. How did that sound? Once you adopt this child, it becomes yours. In the same but what I'm saying is, where the papers at? I, I, I understand. Do you have the papers? She don't know where the papers is even at. In, um, That's what I'm saying. Here. She's so unorganized. Funny how she wants to walk out on an honest man and a provider for another dude, and still wants him to provide for her kid. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.